Over the past few weeks, I've been messing around with ChatGPT, which it's basically an AI that can hold a conversation and is very knowledgeable. So you can ask it just about any question and I'll be able to answer it in simple terms. So what I've seen a lot of people doing with it, they've been making it write blog posts um, and other text-based stuff like that. But a cool feature of it that I haven't seen talked about as much is the fact that I can actually program stuff in any language you want just by typing in what you want to program. So for example, I have this. Uh, this just asks it to get a user's name and then to print hello there before the name. So very simple code. And as you can see, if I load it here, it just tells you what it's going to make quickly. And then it writes the code. So as you can see, that's very simple code. All right, moving on to the more complex stuff. First thing I asked it to do is to write an encryption program. So it's just a website where you can type in text, type in a password, and it'll encrypt it with AES. And sure enough, after a few hours and some fine tuning, this was the end result. So I got it to write a few things manually. I told it to make this little box, just say make sure it's HTTPS secure up here. And I got it to write this down here so people don't actually use it as it's not very secure. Oh, I don't know. I can't verify the code. But basically, all you have to do is put in text here. Uh, I'll just type hello and I'll make the password very secure. One. And you can click encrypt. And here it is the encrypted string. You can copy it. You can paste it in, click decrypt, and it shows you here. Uh, just to prove that it actually does work, here's another tab of it. Type in the password, decrypt, and it says that there. So it was able to essentially, in just a few hours, be able to, well, less than an hour actually, it was able to write this entire website, which is very cool. And this all happens locally in the browser as well, so it does need connection to the internet. Uh, this website here, uh, OpenAI needs, and it needs to connect to the internet anyway. So with this, it doesn't work on the first time. That's something I've noticed a lot. So what you have to do, you have to just write your code, put it in, and then paste any errors back into GPT-3 or chat GPT in this case, and it will think about it and it will fix those errors. So I just step back and forth, back and forth, and it managed to make this. Um, second thing I managed to make is this write a blog post, right? So this one, it actually connects to the open AI API. It's a mouthful. Um, and it uses GPT-3, which is the predecessor or a less capable version of chat GPT to write a blog post. So for example, I could write a blog post about how AI will take over blogging and I'll click generate. Oh yeah. And I also made it so it can interface with uh, Stripe as well. That's another thing I added to it. So you can actually ask users for payment. So again, I did no programming here whatsoever. This was 100% entirely made by the AI. So I can ask it here. It says I have uh, two out of 12 users left. So I have to fake pay again. All right, so I'll just click it and it's generating. Then in a few seconds, it should come back with a fully generated blog post. And also something cool about this, this uses Node.js. So the JavaScript that um, asks OpenAI's API for the prompt, or where you put the prompt to, that's not hard coded on this code. So you don't have to worry about your API key being stolen if you're going to make a web app like this. But as you can see here, it also wrote in Markdown. But it wrote an entire, I want to say, 300 word, 400 word blog post about how AI is going to be taking over um, blogging. So that's something I found very cool. I even made it a go back button. And something else I made it do next, I made it have a story generator. So you can type in any name. I'll do Jack. Type in any age. I'll do nine and you can type in any topic so ducks and dragons for example you click submit and it thinks really hard so what it's really doing is just sending this request to the open ai api again to gpt3 gpt3 is thinking about it and it's going to send it back here soon a few moments later 
all right once upon a time there was a nine-year-old boy named jack jack was a happy inquisitive lad who enjoyed spending his days exploring the outdoors so okay i'm not going to read all of this but if you want to read it you can but it's an entire story i assume about ducks and dragons and a nine-year-old kid named jack so what you see here, it was entirely generated by OpenAI's ChatGPT, which is this right here. Um, I hope this video just shows some cool things you do with it, you can do with it, because I personally don't know how to program, and it's just been fun writing all of these articles, but I'm gonna definitely try and learn, maybe C-sharp, I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching this video, goodbye.